I've become really comfortable with using layer masks in the traditional material editor and although I can continue using the traditional material system I want to create layered materials using the new nodes in release 20. So how do I mask a layer in a node based material when it doesn't even have a layer mask option like I'm used to? In this quick tip I'll show you how to add opacity to your BSDF layers. So in this simple example, I have two layers. The bottom layer is this uh, yellowy orange diffuse. And on top of it, I have the Cinema 4D logo. And this does have an alpha channel. And that's by default being red in this diffuse layer. But I want to mask some of this out and add some wear. So what I'm going to do is right click on Diffuse 2, Input, and go Add Input. And the input I'm adding is that Diffuse 2's opacity. Now I'll simply connect that opacity input to my uh, grime map result or color. And there you go. Now let me show you this exact same thing one more time on a slightly more interesting example. So on the tabletop, the nodal material has a base wood diffuse. Uh, that's a BSDF type diffuse. It's the darker layer and on top of it I have the lighter wood. And I do not simply just want to turn down the strength of this. I actually want to use a mask so I'm going to go ahead and right click on lighter wood, that input port in the surface, go add input, find the surface lighter wood, opacity input, add that. And I already actually have a grime map in here, so I'll drag that over in our view. And I'm going to connect the opacity input to the color output. So I spent a little bit more time on this scene focusing on the metal materials and here is my final render. I have an AB compare here so the left is uh, before with just the base materials. Let's see that whole thing and then there we go with all my grime and masked reflectance layers. So I hope everyone has a blast exploring the node-based materials in Release 20. If you're interested in personalized training or project assistance, visit cineversityoneonone.com and visit cineversity.com for more great tutorials and resources.